the Vertex Gamut Overland. Let's check it out. Vertex makes a lot of really high quality gear and their backpacks are known for not only being just really sturdy but very versatile, a lot of compartments. Uh, there are some features to this bag that are different than anything I've ever seen and uh, it's really user friendly, especially if you're carrying a small little PDW and even a concealed carry. I mean you have a lot of room to put a lot of things. But the one great thing about the Gamut Overland is that it doesn't look that tactical. Now, of course, we have a woodland <laughs> pattern here, so definitely looks like a hunting backpack. But they do make it in a number of different colors. Now, this particular woodland color is only available at Big Daddy Unlimited. Uh, it is a proprietary color for them, uh, and, but they do carry the other styles and other colors as well. And Big Daddy Unlimited sent this for this test and evaluation. And guys, if you haven't ever checked out Big Daddy Unlimited, it is the best resource on the web for finding the best prices out there. The Gamut's a pretty large bag. Uh, it's 35 liters in volume. Uh, it's 24 and a half inches in height. It's 12 and a half inches when you don't have the water bottles expanded or the pouches. Uh, and it's about nine inches deep. So it's a good sturdy pack. Now, Gamut actually means the total scope of things and this really does handle a lot of different roles. Uh, it is large enough to where you can use this as a three-day pack but it's also comfortable enough to where you can carry this around town. It's made from a thousand denier Kadura. Uh, it's really strong. I mean everything is stitched very well. A triple stitched reinforced nylon threading all the way through. Bar tacked. I mean this pack is definitely really good quality. Now the Woodland Camo again is a Big Daddy Unlimited exclusive, but these do come again in other colors, which really makes this pack very versatile in that it doesn't have that tactical look. Now with the Camo, it definitely has a little bit more of a hunting type look, but in the standard colors, this really is a gray man bag, which again makes it versatile and yet it has some features in here that make it definitely good for tactical purposes. Now one of the first things you'll notice is this panel. Uh, this is kind of a elastic somewhat panel. Uh, it's some kind of nylon. It's very soft, has a little bit of padding to it, and it'll give. Uh, it's also on the sides here with your water bottles, and we'll take a look at that in a second. But this panel covers up an area that we're going to look at. Now this panel has an attachment point all the way back here with this little loop. And you have a metal hook that hooks into the loop and so you can take that off and then you have a velcro keeper because this is fully adjustable you can expand this panel out and this makes it really easy to keep things tidy but then back here you have an extended security point where you have a snap and you can see that this is reinforced and this is the same on the other side now there are zippers on the right and left side you can just bring those down and then it reveals a molly panel back here. Now I've got this, of course, attached with a med kit and a knife. But you can see the molly panel, and this is also a Velcro field. So there's a lot of things you can do with that. In fact, I can pull this right on out. There's a Velcro field here, and then there's standard molly strapping down here at the bottom. But you can take this panel, lift up, and stuff this underneath. So you can actually just get rid of that panel altogether and then you can go with it just open. So any kind of attachment points you have on here be a lot faster to get to. Now on either side, you have that same elastic nylon material. Uh, and of course it's great for water bottles and you can put full Nalgene bottles in here. Uh, once we pull that out, you have a shock cord keeper. You can actually wrap this around your bottle, tie this down, and it does have a, a lock on this side. And then we have behind it a zippered compartment and we can lift that out 
open it up. I love the contrasting colors. It's one of the things I love that they're doing now because it really allows you to see what's in your pack. Uh, we have a sleeve right here, and I just have a compass and a map and a multi-tool. And then on the back end, we have a mesh pocket. And so this is a zippered compartment, so we can store whatever we want to, have a little battery backup in here. But what's really cool about this particular little pouch is that up in here, it goes all the way to the top. And then here at the top, there's a small port where you can run a hydration bladder, or you can actually put a radio in this pouch and run your comms through here. So it gives you a lot of capability. Plus, this is Velcroed shut. So when you need it, just open it up. When you want to close it up, it's closed. Uh, you can use one side for hydration, and there's another one, again, on the other side for your communications. And it's the same on this side, but again, you don't have to put a water bottle in here. You can put different things. Got a little Glock fun stick and one of the spool tools with paracord. Then we can open it up. Um, this does have a red zipper, which I don't think I mentioned, so it gives you a different contrast. If you look here, you can see that red zipper pull. You have a little SOS survival poncho and some bank line. But again, this goes all the way to the top. You can put large, tall items in here, and then again, you can run it through the port if you want to. We have padded shoulder straps. We have mesh at the back, and this is kind of a yoke style. Uh, this is really comfortable to wear, guys. I put it on my back. It just molds to your back. It seems to form to your back. Then we have a 3D panel on the back that gives you some structure to the pack. Your sternum straps are adjustable from each section, and you just actually remove this, so it's not sliding around up and down. And it goes that way with either side. Nice, strong, Fastex buckle uh, with your keeper, your Velcro keeper, to keep this tidy. Now, notice this little section right here. This feels like leather, and uh, it's probably some synthetic leather, but it is really a nice touch here, also down here at the bottom on either side of your strap. Then we have small little attachment points that are webbing. Your waistband cummerbund is padded. It has nice, large Fastex buckles and fairly wide webbing. And again, guys, you have that, those keepers on either side to keep this in place. And guys, if you don't want to use a waist belt, uh, you can just tuck it away in here behind this 3D panel. And that way it keeps it nice and clean if you don't want to use your waist belt. But also you notice on the shoulder straps we have quick release Fastex buckles. We can release our straps, unzip the rear compartment, and shove our shoulder straps down in here. Now one of the things about this is if you're traveling, uh, it allows you to be able to tuck away all your shoulder straps and everything, and it keeps the bag really clean. You're still going to have this zipper compartment open, but you can pull these out really fast. Now another thing about the quick shoulder strap release is I can pop it, I can take it, and I can drop my pack in a big hurry if I need to. There are two open slots right here that go behind your panel. This is perfect to be able to put to luggage. If you have a handle, you can slide this on tuck away your straps, and then you can carry this through an airport, to your hotel room, wherever. It makes it a lot easier to carry. And then you can just take and unzip this all the way down, and you can pull this out. Now this has a smooth area right on the back, but on the panel itself, it is a Velcro field all the way across. And Vertex does have a what they call the Tactagami. It's a uh, Velcro holsters and different kind of keepers that you can put all along here. Here I've just got a Maxpedition universal holster on here and the Erex Delta. This is a great way to be able to pull this out and keep this secure. Of course, you can put magazine options and a lot of other things on here. But one thing you'll notice is this really large grab strap. Uh, and this is only on one side. And so you can actually pull this pack around, take this because you can grab it and find it really quickly and unzip quickly and get right to your firearm. Now we do have a grab handle right here, and it's made from that same leather type material that's on your shoulder straps. And you can grab hold of it and pick it up. It does have, here at the back, it does have a grab handle, but this allows you to take two hands. You can pick this up, really easy to do. Now the top of the pack has a small admin pouch. You can lift it out. You do have a zippered mesh compartment here. So you can put a lot of different things that you really want to get to. Headlamps, one thing that I use a lot. And so it just tucks in there and some cat crap <laughs> for my, to defog my glasses. 
but it has a lot of room up here. So I have a pair of Leupold binoculars, have a bandana, and I have some gloves. Double YKK zipper pulls, which I don't think I mentioned, but these are YKK. They have these little tabs on the pulls. And guys, even if you have your pack sitting on the ground, it's really easy to grab this, pull it down, and get right to your firearm if you need to. Now for the main compartment of the pack, we have two zippered pulls, and we can pull that out and open it up. One feature that they have is a little Velcro tearaway pull. And you have a little Velcro patch, you can just attach it, pull these down like this. And that way, this is a fast opening for your main compartment. So you grab your grab handle, and then you can grab this little pull, and this will allow you to take this and just open it all the way up. When you have this front panel deployed, you can actually take this and put it in the little keeper. You can snap it if you want. And that way when the pack opens, it won't open all the way up. It'll stop and that way it won't, all your contents won't fall out. But this will hold quite a bit of gear. Socks, we have a rain jacket, I have my Arcteryx tarp, lifeboat food, Heavy meal trash bag, little tool roll with a lot of my essentials. We have a Velcro hook and loop field here. We have a mesh pocket, zippered. A lot of items can go in there. And then we have a little admin section right here with a lot of different sleeves. And this really is at the top of your pack. So you can just open it somewhat and pull out anything you need. Now there is another of those 3D panels and this is really great to keep a laptop in and it will protect it. There's also a panel in the back. But you can't help but notice what I've got right here. I've got a little Brigade BM9. This slips right down in here. I can close the pack. And a lot of these small little PDW type firearms will fit right back there in your pack. I did have a standard 33 round magazine that I'm using with it, but decided that I could put one of these 17 round Glock mags and that way, I've got it in here where I can keep it loaded in the bag. Then I have my 33 round as a backup. But this is still very user friendly for those who are not gonna be carrying a firearm in their bag. And this panel right here actually comes loose, it's Velcroed in. So we can just take this and remove it all the way. And then we have a Velcro patch at the back. We can put a lot of different accessories on here. In fact, you could even secure your firearm with the Takagami accessories. And then we have webbing right here that has Velcro. But we've got a lot of room that we can put things in here, pack away, and again, guys, change of clothes. You can use this as a weekend bag. You can use this as a three-day get-home bag, or for that matter, a standard bug-out bag. Or you can just go back and forth to the office and you have all the things you need. And I really like this high contrast viz. I mean, you can see whatever you've got in here. It really makes it nice to be able to get down into your pack and know what's in there. Now here's the bag completely empty. Uh, it really makes itself flat. And you can actually bend this and fold it. So if you're gonna store this away, it's really easy to do. Uh, the only con really that I see with this pack is that when you set it down on the ground, it tends to wanna fall forward. Uh, it doesn't really set up, uh, especially with it packed out full. Uh, a lot of that has to do when I have a firearm in there, I'm sure, with the uh, PDW, the little Brigade BM9. But uh, that's, the, that's really the only thing. Now, one thing I will tell you is you need to kind of get with this bag and start working the different features to learn them because they're a little different than a lot of the packs that are out there. But um, really, with what this can handle, I mean, there's so many different things that you can do with this pack. And uh, expand this pocket out if you want. You can really fill this up. You could even put a, a helmet with a... Uh, PVS 14 in here and stow that away. Of course it does kind of adhere to the tactical side of things, but it can be used every day. So really it goes over the gamut of having a multi-use backpack. And when it comes to the weight, four pounds, 11 ounces. So guys, if you're looking for that backpack that kind of has that discreet look to it, yet has a lot of features, uh, the Gamut Overland is one of the best on the market. On the Vertex website, these run $239.99. With this special color that is only available at Big Daddy Unlimited, it's $215.99. But the other colors in this same style are $151.99. So check out Big Daddy Unlimited for a lot of different Vertex gear. And again, I want to thank the guys over at Big Daddy Unlimited for sending the gamut overland. This thing is awesome. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.
wrong, plane. Can you not go any faster than three miles an hour? The plane, boss. The plane. Reinforced right here in this plane. This plane. Your sternum straps are adjustable. Uh, you just... How do you do that? Another thing about these... Now, one other thing about these quick... Now, another thing about the quick... With the Takagami... With the... Yeah. 